Are we ready to try another question? Yes. I think you could solve this. Take a look at question number two. Put your hand up if you can solve it before I finish reading the question to you. Okay, don't say anything, just put your hand up if you know the answer. So a certain plant has yellow flowers and tall vines. So there's parent one. Another plant of the same species has red flowers and short vines. So that's parent number two. Two pure breeding lines were crossed and produced all yellow flowers on tall vines. A test cross produced 130 plants, 58 yellow tall, 72 red short. So what's the next step? We have a couple people that think they know. So if I go back to the options, two or four? Two. So if it's two, it means complete linkage. I'm done the question. So are these genes linked? Yes. Complete linkage. So is there a percentage of crossover happening? They're not crossing over. They are so close together that there's no break in between those ones. So these essentially travel together. Okay, so you are done the question. Number three. One more together, then one or two on your own, and then I think we're probably okay to move on. So, this time you are going to take me through the different steps. First step is, what do I need to do? Okay, so stop me when I get to one of the parents. A pure breeding mink with black fur and white tip tail, so that's my first parent, was crossed with a pure breeding brown furred without a white tip. It's all lovely sounds of you to be loaded onto YouTube. So here's parent number two. Now for visual learners, you could use two different pen colors for parent one and parent two. You could highlight them in different colors. Whatever method works best for you as long as you can find the parents. The offspring were all black with a white tip on their tail. A test cross reproduced the following. My next question, Nathan, what am I going to ask myself? Hey, what's before I get to recombinants, I need to ask myself, is there? Right. So in this case, there are four. So we know we have four options. Can we tell from 36 to 29 to 21 to 32 if it's a one to one to one to one or are lopsided? Okay, so always best to calculate percentage of recombination. Now, how do I find the recombinants? The second and the fourth? Now, my method would be figure out the parents. Black, white tip, that's a parent. And I need brown without a white tip. Brown, no white tip. So then my recombinants would be black, no white tip brown white tip. Next step is what do I need to do with 29 and 32? Add them. Add them up, divide by the total and calculate a percent. So take 60 seconds, check to make sure you can calculate that. Are we ready to double check? Okay, make sure I've done this correctly. I added 29 and 32, I got 61, is that correct? Yep. Divided by 118, yep. so 51.6% or I rounded it to 52%. Now, that gives me the percentage of recombination. Is it independent assortment, meaning they're on separate chromosomes, or is it incomplete linkage? Okay, if you're not sure, for now you could flip back to here because it's over 50 independent assortment. So if this is independent assortment, because we know it's 52%, are the two genes linked? No. So not linked, 
This means they are on separate chromosomes. Are we okay with linkage questions? The thing that you have to learn, if it's two, that means complete linkage. If it's 50 and up, that's independent assortment. And if it's 49 and under, it's incomplete.